What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Rouge. And this is a trailer reaction to the CCXP trailers from the weekend. Uh, they put out a lot of stuff, and yep. we were at LA Comic Con, so we're, we missed it. Yeah, we're here in LA. <laughs> but uh, if you wanted to see our thoughts on these videos, they're in the video. So this let's watch them. Uh, this is going to be Fallout. This is going to be Halo Season 2. This is going to be... Um, House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon Season 2. This is going to be The Boys Season 4. Yeah. Four videos. So many trailers. One reaction. It's probably going to get demonetized. Uh, if you want uh, to support us, I was going to say full-length reactions, but this will be the full-length reactions. Uh, we have a Patreon. So, patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. Just go for fun. But let's watch Fallout. Have you ever played a Fallout game? No. Oh, you have no idea what's about to happen. No, I don't. All right, let's do this. vault -tech. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. Stop! Lucy! Hmm. You need to go home. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. She's very scared of that tumbleweed. It's moving toward her, I understand. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. Hey, what's up? Uh-huh. Free two-day ship. <laughs> that is... That, that was an Amazon joke. Oh. Because Fallout is a criticism of capitalism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, okay. the pillar of capitalism is also is making the Fallout show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. They're making a joke about that. Ha, ha, ha. Yo, that looks great. Damn. Tomorrow, so they say, will be a lovely day. A bright new sun will suddenly break through. These visuals are great. Oh, yeah, it looks rad. What the hell? They're like, what if they're handsome? Kind of. I grabbed a moldy one. Oh my god. This is weirdly comedic. In a way I was not expecting. Is Fallout not like funny? Ew, what the hell? That looks great. That's the past, yeah. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Interesting. I am... Uh, just honestly, I am not the world's biggest Fallout fan. Okay, um, yeah. I have played a couple of them for a few hours, but I've never beaten a Fallout game. Gotcha. I, I know the, like, iconography of the world pretty yeah. well. Um, I know the, like, blue jumpsuit blonde guy. Yeah. That, and that's it. Uh... What I think is stands out to me most about this trailer is that this seems to have a very specific tone yes. that I I found um, intriguing. Well, yeah, it, and it's by the same people who did The Boys, mm -hmm. so it's going to be funny and horrifying, I think, um, in a way that, from what I know of Fallout, which is very little, works for the world. Yeah. Um, so I think they picked the right people to do it. Yeah, I... I'm really curious how they adapt. What You know, what, what, what's so enticing about Fallout as a world is getting to be the main character in this world. Mm. And I do wonder how you create a protagonist. It's a little bit of a harder job, in my opinion, than, say, like, The Witcher, where right. Geralt is kind of a character that we know. Yeah. Um, even The Halo Show, which we're about to watch a trailer for, uh, I think that that show has the benefit of Master Chief having relationships and things that um, come from the games in the adaptation. In this, you, you kind of have to create the world of Fallout and per put a person into it that the audience connects to yeah right and you don't i think have that, that, that already done really for hard. you yeah gotcha okay so i'm, I'm really curious this lead female character i'm really curious th this trailer didn't really tell us anything about her anything yeah and she's uh, just our like focal point i hope that they make some strong choices with her for sure yeah. because she kind of is coming across as like white brunette um 
protagonist lady yeah. that we've been getting from Star Wars. The world and, for the first yeah, time. yeah, yeah. We, we, we've gotten this character a lot, and so I hope that they take some big swings with her yeah. instead of just kind of her having her be kind of wide eyed. I, it, it's yeah, tough to judge because sure. I, I really feel like she introduced the trailer and then was completely relevant 100%. to the rest of it. This trailer definitely wasn't about her. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that like the next one will be like, this is your protagonist. And this first trailer was kind of like, here's the world and the vibe that we're going for. Yeah. To see if you're on board for it, right? Well, and I, I think that in a lot of ways, in Fallout, the world is the main character. Yeah. Right? Like, the vibe. But that works because you are seeing it first person through your through who you are playing. And I think that that is a harder thing to do in television. For sure. I think that you really, you have to get your audience on board with your MC. And I'm really curious to see how they're going to do that here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find out. We're going to watch it. Yeah, with her literally being like, I've been privileged. And you're like, oh, okay. Sure. Good to know. Uh, I'm curious. Yeah. Oh, that great. The tone was fun. Yeah. Shall we watch? What do you? Should we do Halo next since we talked about it? Okay, but like, why is why are they doing more Halo? That show was terrible. Uh, we'll see. Maybe it, they'll fix it in season two. Is it a different show? Halo no, it's show? This, it's it's season two. Um. Oh God! Why? Really, we, if you don't know, uh, we hated the show. Didn't mind the beginning of it. it. It there was some promise at the beginning, and then it like it, it got real weird real fast. Are they going to keep doing weird sex shit in season two for no reason? Probably. Let's watch this. I don't know. I'm trying to make Game of Thrones, I guess. There's a brightness going here. Yeah, oh. Me. Shout out to Daffy. No. Is that how it gets? Their numbers are overwhelming. That's a cool shot. These visuals yeah. so far are already pretty beautiful. I mean, the show looked good, but... Yeah. Hmm. She was the best part of season one. Yeah. Still not wearing his helmet. Cortana, like, one of the main characters? Yeah. We got one shot. But one also, shot. <laughs> what, um, I'm so sorry. I, I can't remember her character's name. Um, the girl who, like, took out the thingy. The Asian lady. Oh. Um, Quan? What's her name? Oh, Ki... Uh, no. Quan. Yeah, I think it was Quan. Not in this trailer? <laughs> Fuck her, I guess. This this was like, hey, <laughs> we're not going to talk about the plot of the show. Yeah, Here's we the, fucked up last season. Good. See, it, it still looks good. Um, the fact that they're doing a season two trailer and not addressing at all that, uh, that, spoilers for Halo season one, spoilers. that John is dead, he seems fine. Seems, yeah, he's saying okay. I'm so confused. I thought, if you want to sell me on a Halo show at this point, on a, on a season two, this would have been a great trailer for season one. Oh, sure, This would yeah. have been a really sure. cool trailer for season one. Absolutely. But you have a season of the show now. You have characters that the audience knows. Like, if you loved season one, I guess that you're like, okay, there's going to be more visuals in season two. Sure. But, like, in, in terms of a trailer, I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to sell me on. That was nothing. I have nothing for to say about it. For people who are on the fence, which I kind of am, I, I think that there's a lot of choice that in season one that can be... that they, they Salvaged? They, they could make a good season of two out of, right? I think that, like, they've done some stuff that I'm not a fan of. Yeah. But they could take that off in an interesting direction. And I think that this trailer could have done more to sell me on the fact that they were going to do something interesting with this. I'm just shocked they got a season two, but... Well, I think they had season two before season one even came out, right? Oh, wow. Okay. I think it was all an right. expensive set that they... That, that all the props and stuff. I think they built it all being like, okay. We're doing two seasons. Okay. Well... I don't know. That was... It looks so good. 
Like, it visually looks so good. I hope it's, like... And a... didn't sell me on a season two. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no. oh, it's pretty. Hopefully, it's, like, kind of a hard reset, almost. Like, they're like, this... Yeah, maybe. Uh, don't worry about maybe that. Maybe that's the way they do it. We got something interesting to say this time. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Interesting. Yeah, that, that was not what I expected. I really expected them to, like, try and, like, push it more. Yeah. And that just kind of was... I don't know. It was whatever. It just looked... It looked really good. We got other stuff to watch, so... All right, how's the dragon season two? Let's dive into that. Let's go. This one I'm actually really excited for. Hell we should have yeah. done that one last. <laughs> our, our, our metrics are going to be like, Fallout. <laughs> Halo. How's the dragon? <laughs> Probably. Achoo! Bless you. Let's do this. Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys' death. Do you think they'll have an episode in the black this season? Not with the black. Obviously, the black will be in it, but... In the black? Yeah, that one episode you can see what the fuck was going oh, on. Oh, in the dark? Yeah. And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. Hmm. Dragons. There is no war so hateful to the gods. There's a war between kin. This looks sick. Yeah. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Oh, girl. What the fuck? Oh, ho, ho! He is so big. People are gonna die, is basically what that trailer was. It is so funny watching this and the Halo trailer back to back. Uh-huh. Because the, the the difference in how they are selling, and, and look, I will admit, I am a much, I'm much fonder of season one of House of the Dragon than I am of Halo of season For one, For sure, right? yeah, yeah. Straight up. But in terms of, hey, we're coming back. These are the people you care about. Yeah. Here is them in situations that are scary. This is a, or, or at least emotional. Yeah. Like, the, there's tension in this. Yeah. And I think watching these two back to back is such a wild experience because it is two, two season two trailers where one hits emotional beats and other is almost specifically visuals. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. House of the Dragon still put the visuals in there, so it's like they, like, yeah. It's just way better done. Yeah. Wild to watch those two together. I'm loving yeah. the. I'm loving so much of it. The armor looks great. Yeah. I think. Uh, the, I mean, the dragons always look great, but like the the, the fighting the, and the flying on them. Yeah. I think one of like my favorite parts of season one was the moment um, with between the two dragons uh, mm -hmm. and the the two like uh, I guess they would be cousins, right? Mm, family trees, uh, but like you know, where where they they lose control of the the uh, Aemon, right? Aemon, yeah. Aemon, or Aemond, one of us, uh, like loses control of his dragon and just fucking chomps up his cousin? Question mark. I yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, like um, I think having that dragon specifically in the trailer was a great choice because I think that's a very, like, rem memorable moment from season one. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, you know, that, that, that character had some feelings about yeah. what happened. I also really love um, the, 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 my favorite shot in this, which isn't the dragons and isn't all of the spectacle, but was just putting Aegon with his crown at the table yeah. and then cutting to um, uh, Rhaenyra with her crown off. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I was staying on the floor of this dusty hotel, and I feel like it's making me sneeze. Um... But, uh, yeah, that was great. Yeah. Really, really well setting up what the stakes of the show are, really setting up, like, what, what, the, what the tension in the world is. Yeah. Really quickly and, and showing us that it's going to look great doing it. Yeah. I'm so excited. You, you know what's missing from the Halo show for me? What? And I think that, I think that that's what it is. It's that it, the whole trailer was, we are up against an impossible enemy. Yeah. And it didn't show us that that enemy has is not impossible, right? But we know that they aren't, right? Like we we've seen on that show in the finale, Master Chief m murders all of the fucking Covenant. Yeah, 
And then in this episode, they're like, and then in the trailer, we don't see um, the girl, the blonde. No, no not We don't her. see any of the like villains that we know because we've met characters on the show. Yep. We just see sort of like nameless, faceless things that we know the Ma- Master Chief can kill because yeah. he's done it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that like the that there's there's very little tension in that for me. Yeah. Whereas this, there's so much tension because we know that these sides are almost evenly matched, right? Yes. And it really is going to be who outplays one another. Yes. Which is more interesting to me than will the guy in the magic, basically magic suit, Armor beat suit, the yeah. things that he's already beaten before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, I hear you. And so I think that, yeah, it's just a tale of two trailers. And, and one is, I think, going to vastly outperform the other. A hundred percent. Granted, it has, you know, better resources, but... Sure, sure. But storytelling, will, storytelling beats resources every time. I, I agree. Opinion. I agree. If it, if it looked worse... But I was more, but I was invested <coughs> in <God damn. coughs> in the characters and the story and the, like all of that stuff. I take I pick that over visuals any day. Yeah. So. All right, someone with a sneezing kink is gonna be very happy right now, but we need to move on. All right, last but certainly not least, the one I'm most excited for, honestly, because I'm loving Gen V right now. Yeah, it's so good. Is uh, the Boys season four? I blew my nose. Hopefully, I won't sneeze through this one. We'll see. Let's freaking do this. That's the noise you just made. Well, Grace. America. All democracies fail. Because people are fucking stupid. Fair. Well, yeah, I understand that. But if you crush the masses, who builds your monuments? Hmm. Who tons you taint? Uh, the people will tear it apart themselves. You just gotta nudge them right like a girl. Then you get to swoop in and be the one saving it. Like Caesar. Like Caesar. I feel so bad for that kid. I know. Her name's- oh, Jesus Christ, no. Oh. Wait, Noir's back? Yeah. Who wants their balls crushed? Me. What is happening? I don't Your team. Know. What's your code name again? The boys. Oof. Who came up with that shit? Jeez, I God, wow. He's so good. Yeah. Unless you're a Spanish chef. Um You know what? Don't worry about it. Jeez, that that's one of those trailers that like I'm like, I would like to watch that again. Yeah. There were so, so many things. Yeah, what immediately stood out to me is um I feel so bad for that kid. I know. I so do I. Um, we got some new characters, though. Yeah, Truth Very Bomb. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Mm. wonder what her thing is. I, I wonder, like, what the conversation was with uh, the guy who has been the, the like, Tucker Carlson on YouTube for the boys. Yeah, yeah. And now he's got a, a ball squishing kink. So I wonder when they were like, hey, so we've been having you do these new segments. Uh, so for the next season, we were thinking that we would tie you down naked and yeah. step on you. <laughs> He's like, sign me up. Let's go. <laughs> I'd do it. Honestly, why not? Uh, the shit you've auditioned for for the show. Oh, uh, trust me, I know. The self-tapes I've made. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. Um, this show is unhinged and I love it. And yeah. like the, the part that I love slash hate is just how real it is right now. In, in, I don't know what in, you're talking about. In America. No. Um, there are no real world parallels to any of this. Definitely not. Yeah. No, I'm definitely... Americans don't even like American that. flags that much. No. No, no, no. Definitely not. Um, I, I think, like, one of the things about the boys right now is that the quality has been so consistent. Yep. Season three was probably my favorite season of the show. Yeah. Uh, just just because of... It's particularly how it ends. I think the, the way it builds up to that finale yep. is really excellent. And then going into Gen V, like Gen V right now might be my favorite TV show of the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hitting me in a way that Peacemaker really did last year for Absolutely. that like adult, like comedic superhero show. Yeah. Um, and, and they're both fantastic. Mm-hmm. And so Gen V is just 
really just building on my trust in this. And going back to the Fallout trailer, like I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm curious how they're going to handle Fallout. Yeah. But it's from the people who make the boys, and they've made four seasons of te- or if you count Gen V, yes. four seasons of television that I trust and think are quite good. Absolutely. And so it's like, okay, until these people show me that they don't fucking nail it. Like, even House of the Dragon. And I trust it, yeah. House of the Dragon, while it is not from the team that made Game of Thrones, the quality of that show dipped over time, right? Um, and while I I, I think it's, I, I think season eight of Game like of it. Thrones. No, 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 no. I'm not the show House of the Dragon. Oh. I'm saying, like, the world of Game of Thrones on TV. Yeah. While the, this is show run by different people, the world of it is produced by the same team, right? Right. And there is a dip in quality in Game of Thrones. You feel that dip way more yes. than I do. Yes. But I, I look at that and I'm like, they need to prove to me that House of the Dragon is going to be different than that. Yeah, for sure. Whereas with the boys, like, this team has not yet done anything to make me think that I can't put my trust in them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so right now, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking in that. Looked great. Yeah. I, I love these characters, even the ones that I hate, right? Yeah, for um, sure. I, I, I love this world and they are playing with political satire in a way that nobody else is right now. They are ballsy. Like, the, the, yeah. They are not afraid to say what the fuck they want to say. Mm-hmm. And damn the people who want to either turn a blind eye or disagree with them or what, what have you. Like it, it weirdly reminds me of when Colbert first got the Colbert show mm-hmm. on Comedy Central. And him and Jon Stewart were, like, punchy about the the political commentary because I, I think that like that show both of those shows together almost got they did it for so many years that it was hard to like keep that machine going yeah um but but when i remember when the, the, that first like era of it was so strong mm. and this is kind of reminding me of that like this is kind of the political satire of the moment for me personally and i think that they're doing it better than anybody i i, I even though it is with superheroes, I don't think that there is political satire happening right now that is stronger than what The Boys is doing. I agree, yeah. And, and Gen V too. I, I, I think that this is this is like the peak of really taking a finger and shoving it in the ass of what is going on in American politics right now. And yeah, I, they, yeah. They have their finger on the like prostate of America in a way that is just so impressive. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Uh, that's a t-shirt. <laughs> I've got my finger on the prostate of America. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the it's just boys, Anthony Starr's face, like, oh. Oh, my God. I hate that. And then there's a Spanish chef in the background with his hand. Just... Oh, my God. <sighs> Anyways, uh, that was great. Loved it. Yeah. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was wild. Uh... Um, if you had to rank your excitement for these four shows right now, I feel like it's pretty obvious for me. Do you? Is it obvious for you? Look, I loved House of the Dragon season one, yep. and I love fantasy and magic and like all that stuff. But right now, I actually cannot choose between House of the Dragon and The Boys. Interesting. Just because it, like it's like my thing, I, I love it. But yeah, look, and and you know, like you said, like Game of Thrones has had inconsistent quality, but I personally don't really look at House of the Dragon like I look at Game of Thrones because it is different showrunners and I love season one so much so for me right now I've got House of the Dragon season one which was phenomenal in my opinion and then Gen V and the boys which has also been phenomenal in my opinion and so I feel like I am equally excited for both of those things yeah I I think that I I agree with what you're saying I think that I'm I'm definitely more excited for the boys right now for sure um because we're in the middle of Gen V yeah and so like we haven't finished Gen V yet so I'm like I'm, I'm still like riding that high yeah um, Fair. And then I would say House of the Dragon. I, I, I'm i curious, are you interested in Fallout having seen the trailer? Um, here's the thing. If we weren't going to react to it, would you watch it? Yes. Oh, you would? Yes, okay. I, I would. And here's the thing. Not necessarily because the trailer really, like, synced its claws and, and hooked me. Mm-hmm. It's more so that, like, I... A lot of people in my community when I stream have talked about Fallout mm-hmm. and, and you know, said that I would really like it. And, you know, there's, like, all these, like, little jokes that I've kind of, like, don't understand the full context for. Yeah. But I understand where they, enough of where they come from to kind of get it. And so I think, honestly, within the gamer community, the brand name of <clears throat> Fallout is strong enough that I am enticed to watch the show. Okay. The trailer was decent. I, I like. I have no strong like criticisms about it. It was just kind of like here's the vibe. It's also done by the boys people, so like that helps as as well. I, I trust yeah. those people. I, I yes, I I am interested in watching Fallout. Not a, I don't know how much of that comes from actually this trailer because I, 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 the trailer w- was good, but it, it, like I I didn't have any strong feelings towards it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I am. I'm. 
intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm like you, I don't think the trailer fully sold me on it as a show. Yeah. Um, I think that I would, I, I, and I would be, I, I want to play more Fallout. I, I want to play that on stream soon, but um, it was an interesting case of this looks like things from the video game and I don't know why you want me to care about this as a TV show. Right. Like, I don't really... I These I don't disparate know the elements... I storyline. And, like, the comedy was, I think, effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it didn't really... The, the trailer didn't really sell me on... A story. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, yeah. why, why would you want to watch a 190-hour game, like, fall? You know what yeah, I mean? Like, sure, it's a sure, long sure. video game... Sure, yeah. ...about making choices. Yeah. What about... This version on a TV show is, is is intriguing. Yeah, like I I I understand this was a teaser and they wanted to go for the vibes and mm -hmm. I I appreciate that. I think that their next trailer, they gotta give us more of the story and the main characters so that I have someone to get invested. Yeah, because I just I'm 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 really curious. Like I I I, I and that's why I'm intrigued by this because I'm like, what does what do you guys care about other than making some jokes? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, like, being like, oh, the dog has a human hand in its mouth. Like, those are kind of visuals that I've seen now. Sure. Uh, other things have done it. So what are you doing to be different? Yeah. Um, besides being like, we have the Fallout armor, which is cool, but, like, Halo also has the Halo armor, right? Yeah. So, sure. like, yeah, I'm, I'm curious narratively what they're going to do to separate that. Um, and then Halo, I, I just, I, I don't like the trailer. I think, um, well, I, I wish I that it like had... Well, I season one, so it's but like... But yeah. I wish that it had started with, what are we going to do about Cortana? Yeah. Because, oh... Cortana the, the, was in one shot. No, Cortana's in all of the shots that John's in because Cortana... That's not Cortana. That's a different AI. Oh, was it? Yeah, I'm... because Cortana doesn't... Cortana's in John's body right now. Yeah. So Cortana doesn't have an AI form right now. She's she's John. Sure. That's that's what I wish the trailer got. I had at least started the path on of like, what are we doing about yeah, that? Yeah, it like, had what... nothing about anybody's relationships or yeah. where they were as people. Or where Quan and... is or where... Yeah, it's just kind of like, it's Mac bad. McCree? It's bad. Was, it, was her name McCree? McCree? I think so. That sounds about right. McKee? Mac? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, just, I wish that the trailer had gotten into where this world is at and not just like, we're at war with the Covenant because that's every Halo thing, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And so I just wish they differentiated what what is season two about and not just like, what is Halo about? Yeah, yeah It kind of, yeah. you know what? That might be why though. They might have been like, hey, the reaction to season one was really bad. We're Let's ignore the show yeah. and just sell this show on what is Halo. Yeah, yeah. Do you like Halo? We have Halo stuff. Yeah. And I think that that's what bugs me about it is I want, much like the Fallout trailer, I want you to sell, I don't want to see why the video game stuff has been made into live action. I want to see why you made this show. Yeah. Because... That's what works. That's yeah, what sells. Yeah, what do you, what do you got to say about it? I don't like the Sonic movie because Sonic runs really fast. I like it because the character relationship between him and James Marsden is actually really well done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I, I think that I think that these companies need to figure that out and sell audiences on why to watch this as a show and why not to boot up Steam and just play this game. Okay. Because all the Fallout trailer really made me want to do is play Fallout and all the Halo trailer made me want to do is play Halo. That's fair. But I, I don't really... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... I'm hoping that I'm wrong about the Fallout show. I don't really care if I'm about the Halo show at this point. Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. Uh, this episode, that algorithm goddess is. Adam Eve. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to give it to um, uh, Rhaenyra. Yeah. She looks sad. Yeah. yeah she's no, about to go she's, it. Yeah, she's... But not Allison. Fuck you, Allison. Uh, Black's forever. That's a weird thing to say. Team Black is is yeah. Team Black, yeah, but team, not Team, team Blacked because that's a different that different website. Thing <laughs> there would be a row of men saying behind us. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. <laughs> this will be the last video from the floor. Thank God. We'll see. Do something nerdy night. Bye. Bye.